I definitely did not want to tear apart my refrigerator and tear apart my boat. So I'm doing it an easier way. So follow along and I'm going to do it. It's simple. It's quick. It may be a little messy, but it'll work. We're talking about refrigerators today. Oh, there's, well, that's the top of the refrigerator. Well, look, you would think that, boy, this refrigerator must really be well insulated because that big old, what is that? Four inches of, of, uh, well, I would, it sounds like there's insulation in there. So there's a big foam block in there. It's about four inches deep. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then you get to the refrigerator itself. And this refrigerator, what you guys can see down in here, it's got this little plate in here. So we can take a look at that. And then deep down in here, I know it's a little dark. We've got uh, two, re two refrigeration plates. This is an upgrade from the original. And with those two, it will really keep this thing cold and it's got an external thermostat so you don't have to open it up to check it out the fit here is very nice and it looks like gosh it looks like there must be about four inches of of uh, insulation here that is not true let's take a look underneath or from the side here you can hear it doesn't you know, basically I'm just gonna quick to the chase here. This is just a fiberglass box. That's it. There's no insulation anywhere. It is hollow, 100%. It's super dark in here. Let me get a light. Here is a light. Let's open this up. Whoa. And let's take a look down. Woo, bright. There is the box right there. That is just a fiberglass box that goes all the way around. It's completely hollow underneath and completely hollow in the back and around the sides. So um, no insulation whatsoever. So the interesting thing is this refrigerator, which is really effective, not efficient, effective, uh, will use my battery so fast that I can't afford to run it uh, going to Hawaii unless to Alaska, the waters will be colder in Alaska, but in Hawaii, it's gonna be nice and warm, so that heat's gonna rise up from the hull and just heat this thing up. So my refrigerator is trying to keep my boat cool, and that's not gonna work. So what are we gonna do to fix that? I'll show you. And this is what I'm gonna do. Now, you saw down in there, there's not a lot of room to get around, so I can't put foam up behind the refrigerator there because I've got like a little tiny place where I can reach my hand part way up behind there and on this side I can't reach at all there's no access whatsoever it's completely blocked off right here and I can't reach from that side a little hole that's basically underneath that seat all the way around and into this side this front I can reach pretty well from right down here but that's the only hole I have these drawers are blocked off from there and then I can reach from the other side a little bit. So trying to add foam boards all the way around it is impossible. So I could take the counters out. I could take the refrigerator and cut it out. I could make the refrigerator smaller and put some insulation in there. But one, I don't have time for that. And two, that is such a massive job. So Kraken, <laughs> here's what we've got. This is, and let me get the, uh, here we go. Let me get the knife out and uh, let open this out. Basically, what I have here are six cans of foam spray and, and a gun to help spray it. And the gun will help me reach back further. And then inside here, our mini nozzles and a longer hose so I can put the extra hose on there and reach farther back with my hand to be able to get back to about here the gun to about here and that hose all the way back to here so I'm gonna be able to I think foam in all around the back of that around this side to the top and all the way back in here this back section here i may have to drill out a couple of holes to foam that in and then on the rest of it i'm going to spray foam the bottom and fill that in this is going to be a really dirty job really really tough i've got six cans of the spray foam insulation i've got some cleaner to clean the gun with in case i 
can't do it all in one shot. And then, um, what else do I have? Um, oh, this has little, these little nozzles. So each one of these, so this one sprays up, this one sprays wide. Um, so the wide one's gonna help me spray along the wall there, wider. That one can kind of spray up a bit, so I'll probably try with that up one first and spray it. I'm gonna, woo, up. <laughs> We're gonna give it a try. I'll be, I'll show you what I'm doing along the way. All right, guys. So this is where I'm trying to get down into, and you can see that was down this little hole. So this is the water tank here. So between the water tank, this is my hand trying to get in here. That is the refrigerator box right there. And that hole right there is the hole I need to feel all the way up to here. Well, about to here. And so I've got to get the can and the nozzle down in here and spraying up that way before I start doing the bottom. I'm going to do as much as I can and then fill in the bottom. And then inside, I'm going to end up drilling a couple of holes to fill in the back side here and those sides there. And I can do the front. So this is going to be really difficult for me to try and uh, film. But basically, I've got this can. It goes in like this. I have to put my hand down there, too. And then you can see I can get the nozzle part way in there. They have a little hose. It's already fallen off once. I'm not sure that's going to work. So I'm just going to do as much as I can. And then I'll have to drill a couple of holes to fill in the rest. And you're going to be able to see there's all the foam down in here. See how I've gotten underneath the refrigerator you actually just can't see the refrigerator anymore and the foam all the way back up in there really kind of hard to see but um is it pretty <laughs> well it's not pretty but it's you know foam and then let's take a look in here and see what how this turned out because i haven't really looked at this and uh here, here we go oh yeah so what i had to be able to get is that underneath inside where this cabinet is up in there and so I had to spray the foam way up in there and uh, then it filled in the gaps and you can see it's filled in underneath the refrigerator there and back up to this pump which I can actually just you know carve some of that out but uh, it's really filled in just how I needed it to uh, we got about two to three inches around the outside of it and uh, and then I'll, I'll bite six to eight inches underneath it. And then around the back. Now the interesting thing is, so the pilot holes I checked for the inside the refrigerator, because I was worried about, I can't even point, this side right here. Um, and so there's two holes here, which held in the old um, refrigeration plates. And interestingly enough, the only insulation in this entire refrigerator existed on this wall. So that wall right there is insulated. As soon as I pressed through there, there's foam. Um, and I was able to get up in here. So I think we're pretty, pretty solid now. So I think it's important to even point out that I actually found one spot that I did not get, which would have been pretty bad. This wall right here, I kind of completely overlooked this whole wall i sprayed up way back up in there along the floor along this wall i made sure there was insulation on that side and for some reason even after finishing the bottom down in here i still forgot this and so i started tapping around i'm like oh that's not that sound hollow and I, of course i could fill up in there and it was hollow so then i got all the stuff back out again and you can see i sprayed up that direction and got all of the this part insulated as well now it's fully insulated on the insulation on the refrigerator i second guessed myself a little bit on the is the insulation making it all the way up to this portion of the refrigerator from me spraying it from down there so <laughs> i drilled the little pilot hole and as you can see right there I uh, tried spraying a little more in there and it was just completely packed. So it got a little bit in there, but it's been just coming out. And in fact, it just sprayed out after I pressurized it in there. 
So as it turns out, I got all of it completely full, which is fantastic. And that little hole right there is gonna seal itself up with the uh, spray foam as it dries. And uh, that took a little bit of cleaning up because I sprayed it all over the inside of the refrigerator. But lesson learned, I don't think there's a lesson there. I think that I just had to check to make sure it was completely full. It is in rust. And this little hole, the pilot hole here, I sealed. Uh, if you can see a little tape mark there. So I sealed that with some, uh, um, some sealant and then taped over it just to make sure it would stay flush and nothing would push it out. But uh, the foam has already expanded and is, is just doing the final drying all in the back. And then this final piece here needs to dry and then we're done. And that will be job done because now I've checked all the way around it and it's completely insulated. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. What I did not report on is how many cans, I'm pulling these cans out so you can see them. How many cans did I use? This is the Fast Coat Kraken spray foam installation. It is how many ounces? It's, it's huge. Um, I don't even see it says on here, but uh, it was up to 20 board feet, something like that. I don't see the, uh, but here's my hand. And that's a massive can. Anyways, took two of those. Um, so four left. I could do, you know, a few more refrigerators. Now I just need to test this out and see how much more energy efficient it is. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and I'll report back soon on just how well it's doing.